All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So Rich Samini of ESPN just came out with an article where he said that the Jets could be looking into adding a quote unquote significant wide receiver this offseason, whether it be through free agency or, you know, uh, the draft. One way or another, the Jets are going to be looking into this position. Now, my first instant reaction is, yeah, we better. Joe Douglas better be looking at a wide receiver. Last season was a joke. Randall Cobb, what, under 100 receiving yards. Alan Lazard, big contract, four years, multi-year. You're not just handing a four-year contract out worth $44 million for somebody that you don't know how to use, somebody that you don't have in your short and long-term plans, and he had, what, under 400 receiving yards? Like I think it was like roughly around that 300 receiving yard mark. He was a healthy scratch in multiple games. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we have Garrett Wilson, obviously a stud, a true number one wide receiver, but uh, Xavier Gibson, undrafted free agent. Jason Brownlee, undrafted free agent. Those two guys had to step up. Sorry about the glare here. They had to step up in the you know in the, in the latter portion of the year. I mean that talk about quarterback play. Talk about offensive line play. Nathaniel Hackett was the offensive coordinator. Uh, you know Todd Downing, passing game coordinator. Like Brownlee and Gibson. I'm expecting those guys to get better. But as far as last season goes, I mean, I mean talk about an uphill battle with what they had to deal with on the offensive side of the football. So yeah, we better be looking at a wide receiver here. The good news though for the Jets, there's going to be plenty of them. There's going to be so many wide receivers available. Uh, again, whether it's through free agency or the draft, I think we'll be fine. Now, of course, convincing them to come to the Jets is, you know, uh, you know, somewhat of a question in and of itself because of like Hackett's resume and how the Jets looked last season and everything. But with Rodgers coming back, I'm hoping somebody, uh, I, I, I'm hoping that people keep kind of an open mind to the New York Jets offense here. And, and they don't look at it and say, oh man, they couldn't throw, they couldn't run, they couldn't protect, they couldn't really put together a good game plan or call a good game. Uh, yes, Rodgers is coming back, but you know how long is he going to play? I'm hoping that we have free agent wide receivers looking at this team saying, you know what, let's, I, I'm going to go to this, you know, I'm going to go to this, uh, go to the green and white. I'm going to help turn this thing around and go on a, uh, you know, a playoff run. That would be incredible. But off the top of my head here, Michael Pittman would be a great, great fit from the Indianapolis Colts. Mike Evans from the Buccaneers, T Higgins from the Bengals, Tyler Boyd from the Bengals, a little bit of a different wide receiver, somebody who can work in the slot, but somebody who I feel like would be a tremendous, tremendous fit. Calvin Ridley is going to be out there. Uh, DJ Chark, I feel like, is an, is an underrated option. Uh, maybe he's not like the go-to number two, but somebody who I feel like could help this football team. Hollywood Brown. You know, I know there's you know a lot of Jets fans that still are interested in Odell Beckham Jr. Personally, I, I really don't. I, I think he would be a boost to this wide receiver room, but I don't know if he could, you know, if, if he's the guy that, that can take this room over the top. Right, and also based off of the podcast interview that he did not too long ago, I believe with Mar uh, with uh, Humphrey from the Ravens, it didn't really sound like him and the Jets are on the best terms. He kind of felt disrespected throughout the process and ended up choosing the Ravens. So uh, the bottom line is there's plenty of options and that's just through free agency. We haven't talked about uh, trades, right? Uh, or even the draft, Malik Neighbors, Romo Dunze. I, I doubt Harrison Falls, but this is a deep class at wide receiver. So you can go out and get, I wouldn't be surprised, a starter in round three. Right, maybe the Jets wind up with a second round pick somehow. They trade back in, in, in round one. They trade up from a couple middle round picks and a, you know some late round picks. They move up for a wide receiver. Who knows? The good news though, despite us needing a wide out desperately here, there's plenty of plenty 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 of options. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching and as always, go Jets.